Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're just giving a couple more minutes to see if uh, some more people join and then we'll get started. So if you want to start getting all your materials ready and uh, then we'll uh, start uh, the workshop today. Oh, okay. Well, um, uh, welcome everyone again. Um, my name is Alvaro Alvarez. I'm um, the innovative media librarian at the Creator Lab Makerspace at the Orbach Library at UCR. Uh, a little bit about me. I uh, started a little before the pandemic. Uh, I used to work at La University of Laverne at the Makerspace there. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, that's just a little bit about me. And uh, this is uh, Ray. I'll let him introduce himself. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ray Gonzalez and I am the Maker Services Coordinator. Uh, I manage the Creator Lab, which is the makerspace at UCR. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining us for our little um, sewing your own Scotty Bear uh, event. Um, so um, hopefully you have all the materials. Um, here's like a little example. Uh, don't mind the um, the tartan, I don't know how to draw. <laughs> so, um, so like the kilt looks a little funny, but, um, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, what we'll be making today. Um, is there anything else? Oh, um, so one, um, one note. Um, so uh, uh, Sandra, Sandra Martinez from University Communications um, uh, is asking any students that uh, want to share photos of um, of them, of like of you making uh, your Scotty Bear or like the finished product, um, feel free to send photos over to her um, and uh, to be used by the UCR social media team. So um, if you want to share that, uh, here is Sandra's email. Oh, and then also, if you would like to share your bear uh, with us, um, you can go ahead and do it on Instagram. Uh, just tag the UCR library with your a picture if uh, you're willing to. And um, yeah, we'll like look to see what you've created after today's uh, workshop. All right, uh, I guess we could yeah. get started. Um, okay, so first thing, um, I guess, so what you could do, um, so um, hopefully you printed out the template. Um, there's a couple of ways that you could do this. Um, what I've been doing was, um, I would just kind of like cut around the bear and then, um, put it on top of my, uh, two pieces of felt. And then I would actually just sew almost like I'm sewing on the paper there. Um, uh, but it depends on how thick your paper is, uh, because you don't want it to, um, uh, you don't want, if it's too thick, like, um, then you might loosen up the threads when you try to take like to rip it off. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do that. Um, but you could also, I, what Alvaro did was he kind of like cut up, cut out the bear um, and kind of used it as a stencil. And then he used like a, a marker or a pen uh, to kind of like uh, trace the outline of it um, onto the felt. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually just cut, cut this. I'll just cut around it and leave some space. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and then um, if if you guys uh, have any questions, uh, feel free to leave leave them in the chat. Or even if you have, um, you know, for the more experienced uh, uh, people, you can uh, feel free to leave, uh, uh, leave like tips or tricks um, in the chat as well. Okay, so I cut out the template for the barrier. And what I'm going to do is I'll actually have both pieces of the felt for that I'm gonna use for the, uh, for the bear, um, just on top of each other. Uh, you could hold it down with paper clips or pins. Um, let me see. I can't find my, uh, I couldn't find my paper clips, but, um, but you could do that just so that uh, it stays still. But um, sometimes, like uh, if the material like sticks together pretty well, like this, um, you don't need it. But uh, you could use it just to just in case. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put that on top of there, and now I'm going to put my thread through my needle. I'll actually use this. All right, I'm going to use this. For those of you that have like that haven't used this, um, this is like an awesome little tool that you can use to um, easily uh, put your thread through the needle. So um, I'm just going to put this inside here. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Okay. So now that I put that inside there, um, I could get my thread, right? And now I have like a bigger um, area to put this, put the thread through. Right? All right, and then you just take this out, and now you have the thread needle. So I'm just gonna get a long, a long piece of thread, um, and let me see. And then I'm going to pull this down and make it even until both ends of the thread meet. Oh, this one's long. Okay. And so now what I want to do is I'm going to make a knot, right? So I have uh, both ends of the thread here, right? That's it's kind of hard to see. Um, so now I'm just going to put it together and then just make a knot. Um, I like to put it through a few times just to make that knot a little bit bigger. All right, so if you can see that, but now I have this little knot and now I'm ready to start uh, sewing this on. So um, what I like to do is I like to, um, so we're pretty much gonna sew, um, uh, sew the bear, right? So, or we're gonna sew this. So we're gonna follow the outline. Um, I like to start, um, start where um, I, I like to start right here. Um, the reason why is because I'll leave the rest of this open uh, so that we could put in the um, 
the, the stuffing or the filling. Um, and you want to get like the straight, the straight part because it's easier to, um, I guess, sew back uh, places. It's easier to close um, using the stitch that uh, we'll be using later. But so I guess I'll just start, start right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke through here. Yeah, maybe don't uh, make your thread too long. Yeah. So let's do it again. All right, so I uh, started. Okay, so um, what I like to do is once I get that through, I'm going to look back to where um, the thread came from. So I'm going to just put it back kind of like where, um, where the thread's coming out of. And then I want to make sure that it comes out let's see, kind of where, um, kind of like right in front of it. So I don't know if you can see that. So leave that through. And I want to pull it tight. Um, uh, just, I think you should be fine. I don't think the thread would snap, but just try to pull it as tight as you can um, where you think the, the thread won't snap. Um, all right, so now I'm going to continue here. So, no, it gets too low. All The thread keeps getting tangled. Okay, I'm gonna start over. I think it should be fine now. So let's try this again. Um, again, I'm going to start. Right, just kind of like right in front of that outline. Then just move a little bit up and be careful not to, to poke yourself as you lead the, the needle through. Um, so if you're doing it this way, um, where you're just like kind of sewing through the, the piece of paper, um, you'll kind of notice that if, as you, as you kind of tighten the, the thread, um, pull it to tighten, um, to tighten the stitch, um, it'll, it'll actually, uh, cut the, uh, the paper for you. So it'll make, uh, it actually makes it easier taking out the paper, um, 
uh, at the end. Um, if you have a sewing machine, um, you could probably get, it'll probably be nicer, um, a nicer job. Uh, if you have a sewing machine, um, you probably get it a lot quicker, uh, a lot quicker, uh, get it done a lot quicker, but um, we don't have a sewing machine, so. Yeah, so we're just going to keep, um, you know, stitching these two pieces of felt or whatever fabric fabric you're using together um, until we get to uh, close to where we started. Actually, just gonna close this just because my thread keeps getting tangled. So yeah, if you run out of um, uh, run out of thread, um, don't worry. You could always just like kind of start a new uh, a new stitch.
Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but you know, as like as I'm tightening the each uh, stitch, um, it's kind of like cutting the paper. So um, by the end of it, it should be able to. You should be able to remove the uh, paper easily. And yes, sewing does take a lot of patience. Um, hopefully, I believe we only have an hour for this workshop, but hopefully uh, we make enough progress to kind of move on um, to at least stuff the bear or um, or even get to like the, the kilt and the shirt. Oh, and uh, for those of you that are uh, a little faster at sewing, uh, if you are done before us, uh, you can uh, maybe start like uh, drawing the, the bear's face. You could either use like fabric uh, pens or Sharpies, um, or if you have buttons lying around like that you don't need, you can also use buttons for the eyes and nose. Uh, uh, I could show you uh, my bear. So I used um, three buttons and then I uh, used a different color material to cut out uh, circles and oval, an oval for the belly part, and I sewed that on. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can get creative, uh, um, use whatever you think uh, will look nice to create your own personalized bear. And then at the end, yeah, you can just, um, Ray will show you the stuffing uh, aspect of it. But I just wanted to show that real quick, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Alvaro. Oh, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, as like Alvaro mentioned, um, like feel free to be uh, get creative um, with your with your bear. Um, you could even use like felt. You could cut out little circle um, circles um, of felt um, and use those as like for the eye, the eyes and nose. Um, yeah, it's 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 up to you. So making some progress here. Oh yeah, let me share the camera again. Yeah, hopefully you used uh, pins or like paper clips to kind of keep it in place. Because um, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of starting to shift down and to the left. Um, but I think it's it'll be fine.
Right.
Almost.
All right. So I kind of just rushed through this last part, um, but we could. Okay, so once you pretty much sewed, um, once you sew everything, um, except for this last part right here, um, you can actually taking out paper. Yeah, you'll notice that if you um, if you pull tight enough, the, the thread will kind of cut the paper and it should just uh, rip off easily. Should have actually cut around it first, but that's okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around my right bear, um, but you want to leave some space. You don't want to get too close uh, to the thread or to the stitches. And it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, we're going to flip the bear inside out anyways to hide the stitches. All right, so um, once we cut that out, right, we're actually going to use this hole to flip it inside out. So we had the stitches. So the stitching will be on the inside now. Right, so now we have our bear or what will somewhat resemble a bear. And what we need to do now is uh, stuff it. So you can actually use, if you don't have a, like this, like the stuffing or filling, um, you could use like, um, like beans or rice. Um, like uh, you could probably get some like cotton balls um, and use those, but you just want to make sure that you get, get them and the ears, um, like the arms and the legs as well.
All right, and then once you got enough uh, filling, what you can do now is close this. So um, one trick to uh, to close it and to uh, sew it while trying to uh, hide the stitching, um, you can use. Uh, I read it as uh, I think it's called a ladder, a ladder stitch, uh, uh, just because it kind of resembles a ladder. Uh, but I'll show you that right now. So let me just. Okay, so to do the that ladder stitch, you want to make sure that uh, both parts are folded, which it'll naturally do that um, because we invert it inside out. So now what you want to do is just start here, right? I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to kind of go in just for a little, like, uh, not too far, but so I'm going to do this. Right? And then I'm going to cross over here and then do the same thing. So I'm going to cross over to this side and then just you know, sew it just right out that folded part. Um, and then you'll notice that as you pull it, um, it'll kind of start to, to close. So again, I'm going to go um, right across here. Right? And then kind of just go down that folded part. Then I go across again. So it's kind of like a ladder. And again, you only want to get um, get it through that um, to where it's folded. And you can kind of see uh, as you pull it, well, you have some excess right here. But, uh, I wish I had a smaller scissors. So again, I'm going to go across. So this side. So I'm going to go across this way. And then back to this side. This side until you kind of get to the end there. Probably the last one. All right. And then what I'll do is I'll just I do a little knot right here. I'll go twice. All right. So now cut this. So and that's how you close the bear um, using that ladder stitch. And then and you could always like uh, Google it to see uh, um, if that wasn't. If that wasn't clear, I know it's like kind of hard to see with this camera, but so yeah, so now I have my bear. Um, and the same thing applies to, um, so I know we kind of uh, ran out of time. Um, sewing does take a while, um, but you have, you know, your material. Um, same thing, you could either like, um, either cut it and trace it onto here or you could just kind of like cut it and then just leave the paper on top and then sew the paper on and then just remove it afterwards um and for these you just want to make sure that you only sew um where it needs to be closed so like right here right here right here and right here so you want to leave you know, these open and then same thing. So you just sew it and then you could uh, flip it upside down to kind of hide those stitches. Uh, same thing with this, you just, this one's pretty simple. 
you just want to sew it there and there. And then, um, yeah, you could, if you want, you could like paint or use a marker to kind of design your own uh, tartan or your like the kilt pattern. Um, I'm not very good at that. So it kind of looks, um, it doesn't look as nice as it could be, but, um, but yeah, so at the end result, um, you can even decorate the shirt if you want. Um, oh, and then the for the face, yeah, so you just, um, so I just, at least for the, um, the eyes, the mouth, and the nose, um, I just use a Sharpie. Um, but again, you could actually just, you know, you could stitch in, um, you could use this as a template, you could stitch in the, uh, the mouth, and then same thing with the, um, with the nose and the eyes. And then, so the end result, right? So this is the one that we work on uh, today. Um, but yeah, if you go a little bit slower and make your stitches um, a little bit closer together, um, it'll probably be closer to the shape of um, the template. But I was kind of in a hurry and I also didn't use uh, the paper clips or the pins to kind of keep the paper um, and the felt from moving, uh, which it did. So that kind of messed me up, but, um, but yeah, so this is the end result. Um, are there any questions? Well, yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the workshop today. Uh, and uh, I'm going to type in that email again once more if you would uh, like to share your bear uh, with uh, Sandra. Uh, and also, if you want to um, uh, ta uh, tag us online, uh, what is it? Uh, it's just a library, um, UCR, UCR library, right, Ray? Um, on Instagram? Oh, yeah. So um, the Instagram uh, is just uh, at UCR at UCR library. Oh, there you go. I had it reversed. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, we would love to see what you created today. And um, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, also, yeah, you could feel free to email us to uh, creatorlab at ucr.edu if you have any questions or um, if you're working on any projects and uh, you want to share it with us or you want to consult with us too. I mean, we're there for you to help in any way possible. Uh, <laughs> oh no yeah no thank you guys for uh, yeah. coming and joining us uh, again yeah, and if you have any uh questions in regards to um the creator lab or oh, oops i think uh let's see uh, um you could also email us at creator lab at ucr.edu um Yeah, thanks again, everyone, for uh, for joining us today. Hope you had hope you had fun. Um, excited to see um, if well, if you decide to share your photos um, on Instagram, um, tag at UCR Library. Okay, let me double check that. I think it is. Yeah, so it's just uh, at UCR. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see um, if you do decide to share your photos um, with uh, either Sandra or um, uh, UCR Library Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what, what you guys made. Um, thanks again, everyone, for joining us today. Um, hope you have a wonderful weekend.